Hello again. I'm going to try to play another game of Slay the Spire. Um, apparently some people liked watching it. Um, I'm going to start from the beginning this time, or I should say the beginning of a daily climb. So the daily climbs are daily challenges. Uh, this one's obviously for the 18th. That's today. Um, there are three characters in Slay the Spire. Uh, in this case, I'm going to be using the silent apparently. I don't get a choice. Um, and then for the daily climbs, there's a leaderboard here that gives you an idea as, okay, this is how well people are doing. Excuse me. Usually I'm off in the thousand plus range for leaderboard. Uh, let's see. 16th, that's the last one I recorded. I ended up in the, in 2327th. Um, usually I'm much, much lower. Yeah, more like 4,000. Although that was a failed run, but... Still, you get the idea. Um, these are the abilities that I have. These are not normal abilities. These are just things that you're starting with. So in this case, I'm going to start with one of every rare card, which, okay. Colorless cards now appear in rewards. That's actually a fairly nice ability. Colorless cards are usually better than regular cards. And terminal. I lose one maximum hit point each time I move rooms. Let's go. This is what I refer to as the fail whale. It's some undead monstrosity question mark, but it's a giant F painted there, so I consider it a fail whale. Okay, so we are going to head out. So with um, Slay the Spire, you have various paths. Uh, the last run that you saw me record, I had the flying ability, which meant that I didn't have to follow a single path. I don't have the flying ability, and to be honest, that was the first time I had ever even seen the flying ability. So I need to plan my path out fairly well. Um, thinking that I am going... So one of the things I want to make sure of... Oh, I should mention... Uh, yeah, I'm not really blocking the legend. Um, so these are the various things. Unknown rooms, as it says, it's completely random as to what type of thing is there. I tend to aim toward unknown rooms myself. Merchants. Merchants is the only place in the game that you can spend money. Uh, with a couple of random events being an exception. Uh, there's a merchant here, merchant there, merchant there. For the first floor, I usually aim toward a higher up merchant because, well, I only have 99 money. I'm going to need more money before I buy useful things. Uh, treasure. Treasure is always in the same spots, so it's an entire row of treasure. You can't get more than one treasure unless if treasure happens to be a reward from an unknown room. Um, resting spots allow you to heal. I tend to avoid those because they're kind of wasted. Upgrades to cards are nice, but I just avoid healing in general. Enemies, these are regular enemies. And then there's the elites. The elites are the more difficult and much better rewarding enemies. So I'm going to start here. Okay. Sure. So my deck is full of all of the rare cards you can tell rarity by the color of the banner gold is rare um, silver is blue question mark oh i also start with all the colorless ones nice and um kind of faded gray is common so i'm gonna glass knife you Storm of Steel, take you out completely, and knock you down to three hit points. I have no attacks in my hand, so hopefully thinking ahead will give me an attack. No, it doesn't. Great. Uh, not what I wanted to have. Uh, this is the problem with having a deck full of random good cards, is that good is subjective. Uh, just die. So these are potions up here. Um, potions are one-use items, uh, and as it says, you can either gain bonuses or hinder enemies. Like for instance, this potion adds three weak. Uh, weak is a status effect. And I get to add a card to my deck. Yeah, this is uncommon and this is common for reference 
Uh, Masterful Stab is actually a great card, so I'm going to add that. This is a random room. As you end, come to a dead end and begin to turn around, walls slam down from the ceiling, trapping you. I love the little effects that they have. You're actually getting this at a lower frame rate. I have Slay the Spire set to 120 frames per second, and I'm recording at 60 because uh, YouTube can't display more than that. Uh, so, three faces materialize from the walls and speak. Forget what you know and I will let you go. I require a change to see a new space. If you want to pass, then you must grow. So either I can remove a card from my deck, transform a card in my deck, or upgrade. So removing is literally taking one of the cards in my deck and making it go away. That's useful if I have bad cards in my deck. Um, or cards that are just clocking it up, like Nightmare. Nightmare is not really a good card. I may end up doing that, actually. Change will basically take a card and re-randomize it. You don't know what you're going to get. Um... And cards will always be the same color. So green cards, which is what the silent primarily has, will remain green. Colorless cards will remain colorless. And curse cards will remain curses. Uh, but otherwise, the rarity will completely randomize. So if you want a rare card, transforming a common card is a good way of getting it. Finally, there's upgrading a card. Every card has an upgraded version. So like Corpse Explosion normally applies 6 poison damage. And the upgraded version applies 9. So, there's certain cards that I really do want upgraded. Uh, Apotheosis is actually one of them. Because it drops the cost of upgrading everything else, which is nice. Uh, another one that I would like... I mean, and my apologies for its panache, apparently. It looks like pancake, dang it. Only replacing the H with a K. Again, as I explained in the last video, it's just one of those words I've only ever read. Um, Adrenaline's a really nice upgrade. So this symbol is energy, so this allows me to gain one energy, then draw two cards. Then exhausting just means it's removed from my deck until the next battle, basically. Upgrading allows me to gain two energy instead of one. Um, I am going to remove, though, because uh, Nightmare is just not a good card. There are certain decks that, I mean, every card is good in certain decks. It's just that I don't have one of those decks. I have a deck full of very expensive cards. So I'm going to play Bullet Time, which costs three energy. This is my energy, by the way. Um, but all other cards in my hand drop to zero energy, and I just can't draw more cards. Which, none of these cause me to draw cards. So, Bullet Time. Mayhem. All right, those are getting shuffled in, and I get to deal 20 damage. I'm going to actually throw this weak. So weak drops their attack power by 25%, mostly because otherwise I'm going to take a lot of damage. Because I don't really have much in my defense. I start with five plate armor in this case. Uh, plated armor is not great. Nor is this hand. good enough um defense or block i should say uh just subtracts the amount of damage that you take so if they're dealing me 10 damage i have five block that means that five of it will go to my block and then i take five uh, none of those are worth me grabbing no let's fight more enemies i would really like to actually have good cards in my hand I mean, don't get me wrong, some of these cards are actually really good. It's just... Uh, actually, this hand will do. Hand of Greed, which gets me 20 money. And another weak potion, nice. Um, so even though Slice is a common card, you'll notice that it costs zero. That means that it's free to play. And for certain deck combinations, like what I'm probably going to be gearing my deck toward, that's really handy. Really a thief this early? Okay. Not expecting that, but sure. Um, die, 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 please. Um. Yeah, let's die, die, die. 
Masterful stab, slice. Unload. And there we go. Panache dealt an extra five points of damage, or extra 10 damage when I had played five cards. Five. Sorry, I have this really slim because I am covering a part of the screen regardless where I put my head. So I didn't want to cover up too much. Um, mm, shift cards are nice. Actually, I could probably use more block. All right, looks like we're going to have a campfire. I'm not injured. I have 64 of 64 hit points because I have yet to... Wait, I thought I did take a hit. I thought I took a hit earlier. Oh, that's right. My maximum hit points keep dropping. Uh, so this would heal me for 30% of my hit points, which is 19. Game's nice enough to give you that math. But I'm going to upgrade instead. Sadly, my favorite uncommon card, or my favorite uh, colorless cards are actually uncommon. Also, my favorite uncommon cards are colorless. That actually works both ways. Um, let's see. So the only difference there is that it doesn't exhaust. More cards. Astro strategy is not terrible. Magnetism drops the cost. That's not a bad idea. Uh, Hand of Greed just gives me more money. Mayhem Plus drops the cost. Apotheosis Plus drops the cost. Secret Weapon drops the exhaust. Panache Plus is just more damage. Violence is just more attacks into my hand. Secret Technique Plus removes the exhaust. The Bomb Plus just does more damage. Sadistic Nature, I'm not applying enough debuffs for that to matter. Zone is dealing with Crazy Cat Hour right now. Don't know how much you can hear. Um, Masterful Stab is just more damage, which is not terrible. Same with Slice. <sighs> I don't know. Let's just go with Adrenaline. Adrenaline upgraded is always nice. Oh, I probably should have done Apotheosis now that I think about it. Oh well. Alright. So these have a status. On death, it applies to Vulnerable to me. Vulnerable means that I take 50% more damage. Which is not great. Alright. Funk. On the plus side, they're going to be dead really fast. There we go. Vulnerable only is nasty if you're actually getting hit. If you never get hit, you never take damage. Well, that's not actually true, but... Um, what did think is a nice card? Yeah, I'll take it. So, I have the option of either going for another regular monster or going for a campfire. In this case, I'm actually going to go for the campfire because regular monsters drop kind of crummy cards, if you can't tell. Whereas, I can use another upgrade, and this time I'm going to upgrade Apotheosis. Because upgrading my entire deck for combat is really nice. Alright, now we're in the treasure level. I'll grab this treasure here. This is apparently the crappy treasure. I gain a strawberry, which increases maximum hit points. That's... Excuse me, normally not that great of a bonus, but since I lose one maximum hit point every time I take a move right now, that's not that bad. Hello, friend! I am Cleric! Hooray for Cleric! Cleric will either heal or purify you for some money. I will, in fact, trash a card. I'm going to trash Transmutation because I never end up using it. Or, actually, I might end up using it this time. Uh, where's the... Oh, it's Doppelganger is the one I will never use. Yeah, we're going to trash Doppelganger. Blue flame envelops your body and dissipates. The creature grins. Cleric ten... Cleric talented. Have a good day! I can't speak today. And random merchant. Dang it. Alright, so this is the merchant. You can buy stuff here. 
some stuff's really nice, like bandage up, which allows you to heal. It's one of the few ways in the game you can heal during combat. Unfortunately, my deck is huge, so it's not going to do much. I can also pay 75 to remove a card. Every time I do this, it increases by 25 for the rest of the run. What I would love to have had was Bottled Tornado, which allows me to have one power in my deck to start with. But alas, I can't afford it. Lockwork Sylphaneer allows me to start with an artifact, which negates a debuff. Regal Pillow is the only artifact I can afford, or the only relic I can afford, but it's not a very good relic in my mind. My phone just made a vibration noise. Why you do that? Oh, just Google Fit telling me that I'm amazing, apparently. I think Bandage Up is the only one of these I actually care about. Not that. But I was going to hit one next turn. I'm actually just going to skip this and go to the next one. And there's even fewer things I can afford. That was a mistake. Last Knife, on the other hand, is not a mistake. I should probably pick that up. Yeah, none of the rest of this garbage is good. I mean, I would love Bottled Lightning. It's the same thing as the other bottle thing. It's just you start with a skill in your hand. Mummified Hand End is a great card for combinations if you have a lot of powers in your deck, which this deck has a lot of. And Twisted Funnel is nice just because Poison is awesome. I love poison decks. Unfortunately, this is not going to be a poison deck. Let's go after an elite. So elite encounters are, again, more difficult than normal. In this case, I have three relatively difficult enemies to fight. So I think I'm going to set them up the bomb. Uh, throw out a cloak and dagger. I'm definitely taking damage this turn. There's nothing I can do about it because that's the downside with having an all gold deck is that I don't have blocks. Oh, no, wait. Actually, I do have some block right now. Where did I get six? Oh, that's right. I used a card that gave me block. Stab you in the face and let's stab you some more just in case. So in two more turns, the bomb will go off and deal 40 damage to everything. Nothing has more than 40 hit points. So really, all I'm trying to do is block slash defend myself. Which is totally doable. Yeah, let's get a bunch of random things. Oh, hey, look, more bomb. Dark Shackles is going to be useless. And I can exhaust cards. That was a terrible, terrible thing. Let's at least reduce the amount of damage I'm going to take. So dropping strength means that they do one point fewer damage per attack. These only have one attack each, because that's what it indicates above their head. So I'm going to be being hit by nine, and I have five armor that's going to be coming, which is not great. Just felt like playing it. So I'm going to be taking four damage, see? Also, the way plated armor works, which is my defense at the moment, every time I take unblocked attack damage, it reduces my armor by one. Which again, not great. Yeah, give me a glass knife, please. So the reason why I did that was to gain a little bit of extra gold, because the bomb's going off and killing them all anyway. Lantern's nice, because you start each combat with additional energy. It's only for the first round of combat, but that's really handy. Let's get more block, because I don't have enough in this deck. Okay, throw out a panache, master of strategy, we'll slice you up, let's get some violence going on, sure I'll gain a random potion, I gained dexterity potion, okay. And I've got two energy left. I think I'm going to die, die, die. Then unload. There, everybody's dead and they didn't get a turn. 
Um, those are terrible cards for these decks. Let's go upgrade. I think Cloak and Dagger, actually. Um, what's my boss? Ah, uh, the Stot. Um, actually, upgrading Bomb might not be a terrible idea. Thousand cuts. Upgrade bullet time. Hmm. Nope, we're gonna upgrade Storm of Steel because I like having upgraded shivs. Alright, so now we're going to fight the boss. The boss of first floor is usually not that hard. Uh, this boss, so I can tell that it's going to do some type of negative effect on me. The way this box works is that it's a King Slime from any of the Dragon warrior or dragon quest games uh basically when it's at 50 percent or lower it will split into two slimes with equal amount of hit points as to what it had and then when those slimes drop to 50 percent or lower they will split into two slimes each with however many hit points they had left so the idea is that you want to do as much damage as possible before they split also it takes their action to split so if they have a really nasty attack coming up dropping them below 50 hit point 50 percent hit points means that you won't get hit by it it's a nice combination all right, let's slice secret technique, pull out an apotheosis. Apotheosis. Everything's now upgraded. Let's play my adrenaline. Ah, uh, sure, we'll get a free put. Ooh, random attack. Nice. Um... Yeah, we'll grab Masterful Stab out of that. So you'll notice that it's at 71 hit points, which is slightly over half. So it's still doing its debuff next turn. And now, its intentions are unknown, not attacking. So it's doing something weird, basically. So this is probably a good time to drink that. So I get an attack into my hand. Ooh, Mind Blast. Mind Blast is the card that I really wish I had. Um, it's innate, so you start with it normally. And it deals damage equal to the number of cards in your draw pile. I have 27 cards there, so this deals 27 damage. And has a nice looking effect. There we go. So now I have two 36 hit point monsters. Which is easier to deal with. Drop. Ooh. Just trying to think of the order that I want to play things in. Let's play violence. I can't draw that much, unfortunately, because I only had one more attack in my deck. Um. Start with a die, die, die. That'll make things easier. Um, I think I'm just going to Storm of Steel, which discards my hand and draws upgraded shivs. Deal six damage each. Make sure you're interrupted. I could just kill that one off. Get that one interrupted. Yeah, I'm going to go after this. There. Oh, if I would have drank the Strength Potion, I probably could have killed them all. Oh well. My fault. Not a big deal. Draw two. Bomb's not going to be useful. Alright. So I just stacked some status effects on it. I wanted to explain. So, Statistic is whenever I apply a debuff to an enemy, excuse me, I deal four damage. In Venom is whenever I deal unblocked attack damage, I apply one poison. So these two combined mean that Whenever I attack something, they'll take poison. Because they took poison, they take an extra four points of damage. It's a really nice combination. Unfortunately, my hand is garbage. I can't do anything else. Uh, yep, I'm going to be eating three points of damage. Oh well, no perfect this time. You actually get extra bonus points for going with perfect. So... I still have no attacks, but I do have a thousand cuts, which is whenever I play a card, I deal two damage. So I can do that. 
play some cards and dealing two damage each. And done. All right, that's the end of the first floor. And I get to add one card to my deck. Bosses give you gold cards to add to your deck. Um, another violence is not a terrible plan. And also a relic. You get to choose your relic between one of three options. Usually two of them have some negative effect. So this one, for an example, I gain an extra energy at the start of every turn, but I can no longer see enemy intents, which means I can't see how much damage they're going to do or what they're going to do. I hate that relic. I'm not going to take it. This one, I gain an energy at the start of my turn, but all enemies start with an extra plus one strength, which means everything does one point more damage. This is actually not that bad. I'm probably going to take the Philosopher's Stone. Finally, oh wow, all three of them have a negative effect. Gain energy at the start of your turn, but you no longer gain gold. This is not so bad if you got it at the end, but it can only appear on the first floor. So, screw that noise. Philosopher's Stone it is. Technically, I have the option of just not taking one of them, but why would you do that? Alright, so we're on floor two, or chapter two, or whatever we want to call it. I'm seeing a l this it actually looks fairly promising. And yeah, I can also get a Lee. Yep, we're going to do that. All right, these birds are annoying, especially with they have plus one strength. Crap. Um, basically, their shtick is that they take half damage until they've been dealt attack damage three times in one turn. Once that happens, they fall down and get stunned. Go with a panache. Uh, actually, thousand cuts is a good idea in this case. Because I can do secret weapon. Which my secret weapon will be... These are not the ones I wanted to see. Masterful stab. But that does an attack. Unfortunately, it's not actually attack damage, so it doesn't count. Drat. I was hoping it would. Um... So we've got a die, die, die. Masterful stab. And hand of greed. That at least dropped one of them down, so I'm only going to be taking five points of damage. So because I got hit multiple times, that meant that my plated armor dropped multiple times. It's annoying. Okay, this will kill that. That's good. Spin block. Use transformation, because these are all cheap, and I'll be dealing one damage each time I play these. Uh, one of these get added to my hand, and it costs nothing. Uh, I am going to take a Bouncing Flask. Not that it mattered, I had Panache. Alright, so I'm full on potions, so I need to discard a potion. I am going to discard that one, because power potions are really nice. And these cards are garbage, go away. Alright, so I can either upgrade a card in my deck for free, or obtain a special relic, which is, at the start of my turn, upgrade a random card in my hand for the rest of combat. <laughs> but, I gain that curse card in my deck. Which I am totally going to take, because my deck's freaking huge anyway. I have a 1 in 40 chance of drawing it. And I can always trash it. Like, here. Ooh, I can also buy these. So, upon pickup, upgrade two random attacks. That's really nice. Um... Whenever I deal 4 or less unblocked attack damage, I increase it to 5. That's really nice for certain types of decks. And facing certain types of enemies. Meal Ticket, whenever I enter a shop, heal 15 hit points. This is worthless. There's no reason to grab this. So it's really these two. What attacks do I have? I would actually be happy with any of those being upgraded, other than maybe Grand Finale. So Grand Finale will get upgraded, most likely. Yep, and Die, Die, Die. I like Die, 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 though. Alright, let's continue on. So, 
you encounter a group of bandits wearing large red masks. Hello, pay up to pass. A reasonable fee of all of your gold will do. Hee <laughs> I'm going to kill you all instead. Nope, I hit the wrong button. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. Not at all. I'm going to go this route now, because I messed that up. Ah, a man with an eye patch and a devilish grin strides up to you. Hey there, stranger. Interested in advancing science? I can make you stronger than any training or blessing. You're going to need it if you... you're one of the heroes with a death wish. What do you say? You either have the option of getting jaxed, which adds jax to your deck. Um, jax is actually not that bad of a card. It's a free card, so it costs zero. You lose hit points, but you gain two strength, which is nice. You can become a test subject, which just randomizes two of your cards. That's a terrible idea right now. Or ingest mutagens, which for the first round of combat, I get plus three strength. And at the end of the first round, I lose it which I'm going to take the ingest mutagens because the first round is the most important round, especially for a deck like this. All right, here's our elite encounter. So we have minions. Minions are weaker than normal enemies that just abandon and they run away when their boss is defeated. So I'm going to be making sure that their boss is defeated pretty quick. Unfortunately, both of these minions will block constantly. So, after image, get myself some blocking power. I'm going to... Think ahead. Ooh. Put burst away. I don't really use burst anyway. Get a free skill. So I'm going to take Adrenaline, Master of Strategy, which allows me to draw three cards. You'll notice that I'm gaining defense each time I'm doing any of this. Play Good Instincts, play Adrenaline. I am up to six energy right now for reference. Um, yeah, I'm going to burst by playing Metamorphosis which will throw a bunch of random attacks into my deck that cost zero. Just felt like it. I'm going to Envenom. So now whenever I deal unblock damage, I poison. Not that it matters, because I'm just going to kill that shield gremlin outright. And then take a slice of that out of that one. Which, see that it added one poison. Poison! causes the enemy to lose one hit point at the start of every turn, and then it drops their poison by one. So if you have a poison deck going, the poison's constantly incrementing. In this case, I don't have a poison deck. All right. Hmm. Secret weapon. Die, die, die. Master will stab you. Die, die, die. Apotheosis, just because. Then I will Storm of Steel, which discards the bullet time and gives me one shiv. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to be taking a crap ton of damage. So I'm going to drink some of these to see if I can get anything useful. I didn't get anything useful. Oh, Noxious Humes is one of the ways that you're constantly incrementing poison. Because adding two poison and it's reducing by one every turn, that's a great way of getting stuff. Um, Yeah, I'm going to be taking a lot of damage. Ah, this is unfortunate. Um, I'm going to take the Thousand Cuts. Wish we would have played that earlier. That would have helped. Yep. That was most of my hit points. My hand is definitely costing very little. Um, could malaise. Hopefully I'm not saying that one wrong. Let's get some regen on. I need healing. Uh, magnetism. And of Greed, which is just doing damage. Then, Malaise. Well, 
Alright. Bane is another reason why poison decks do really well, is because this does 10 damage, which is usually pretty good for it's normally a 1 cost, and then if it's poison, it deals a second attack at 10 damage, which is very good, to put it mildly. I think I can actually kill off the Gremlin Leader this round, though. Ooh, yes please. Ah, plate. Okay, you are down to 20, then you'll be taking 5, so you need 15 more down. Oh, never mind, just die. Retreat! Run! See what I mean by they run away. Uh, you also can't gain benefits from them. Um, that card that I had just played, which is the uh, Hand of Greed, you notice it says non-minion enemy? That's why. There's a couple of cards like that. Anchor allows you to start every combat with 10 block, which is very helpful. Thank you. Ooh. No. I don't want more cards in my deck. I have too many as it is. Alright. This is not a good starting hand. <laughs> but I can hopefully draw into something better. Violence. Knife. And hand of greed. There we go. That's more the way I expect this deck to work. Uh, Madness is an interesting card. It causes a random other card in your hand to be dropped to zero cost. Usually this costs one, the upgraded version costs zero. When it costs one, it's a terrible card. Endless Agony is a really nice card in my mind. But I'm going to go with Madness because I have a lot of high cost cards in this deck. And it'd be nice to start having things cost zero. Master of Strategy. Bendis? Hmm, Metamorphosis is free. I uh, don't mind if I do. So this nature is also free. Alright. Oh, I should have played Thousand Cuts first. Oh well. Um, play with the bomb. And die, die, die. So this elite, its shtick is that whenever you receive attack damage, you add a wound to your discard pile. Wounds are just useless cards. They don't do anything positive or negative. But because they're in your deck, they suck. That's it. And I have enough defense to be able to take their two attacks. That's fine. Panache. Yes, please. Should have played after image first because I wasn't going to finish this hand anyway. Oh, well. I am going to take a lot of damage this time. Let's add some more armor. You know what, let's also drink a strength potion. And play some mayhem. Yep, I'm going to take 10, which is 2 wounds. I played a free thinking ahead. So I get to drop something into... Back on the top, which I'm going to immediately draw, so it doesn't really matter what I play there. So let's draw that. Um. Um. Next turn, my attacks do double. I need to survive next turn, though, which is going to be a problem, because I have no defense. Grand Finale would be really nice if I can ever draw it on the bottom of my deck. There's ways of handling that. Yeah, bomb went off, luckily. Uh, magnetism could be discarded out of this. I'm not going to need it. And then I add one of these to my hand. I will add Swift Strike. It has 15 hit points. It's going to die. No matter what I play, it's going to die. Uh, none of these are going to matter, are they? Nope. Molten Egg. Whenever I add an attack card to my deck, I upgrade it for free. Energy potions are really nice. It just gives me energy. And that is an attack card I wanted. 
free and innate is a good combination. Start every combat with plus one dexterity. Not gonna frown at that. I actually am going to heal because I'm really low on hit points. And I don't have very many to begin with. Sneko! Sneko's shtick is when this goes off, it, it gives you confusion. Confusion in this game randomizes the cost of everything. So Sneko's can be really nasty. I have sadistic nature and in venom though, so that will help. Backstab. Three points left, I think. Storming makes sense. Okay. Now everything's going to be randomized on cost. That can be good or bad. Like, for instance, if this adrenaline cost three, that would be a terrible card. And it could. Like, this cloak and dagger cost three, and it's a terrible card. We may still end up playing it, but first off, let's apotheosis. It's free. Adrenaline up. Oh, of course I drew the pain. Crud. I actually am going to play the stupid cloak and dagger. I know I'm taking a lot of damage. It sucks. Alright. Huh. Such is life. Don't hit me with a status effect, but that's okay. Vulnerable is terrible, but it's going to die in my turn because it has effectively two hit points left. First off, let's see what my new potion is. Gambler's Brew. Sweet. Give me cards. Jeez. Die. Mmm... I do kind of need the block still, don't I? Yeah, this deck is terrible on defense. I don't particularly like this challenge. Secret Technique got upgraded. Okay. Madness was also upgraded. Also okay. Let's grab a skill. Um, Adrenaline's a good skill to grab. So I'm going to grab that. Oh, I'm going to play After Image so I don't screw that up. Adrenaline! Deflect. Backstab. Madness, which makes bomb free. That's fine. Venom. Storm of Steel, which will only get me one shiv, but that's okay. And I actually have enough defense to be able to take this attack. This time. Yeah, the next one I can't take, though. might be able to kill. I'd also use Wraith Form. Wraith Form gives me Intangible, which as it says, drops all damage to one, but unfortunately it drops your decks every turn, so it's only useful in certain cases. This is probably one of them. Yeah, I don't think I can kill it this turn. Let me see. 18 plus 16 is 34. 54. I don't know. I actually can kill it. Yeah, let's just kill it. Oh, right, it blocks itself. Okay. Wraith form it is. I'm not going to screw around with it. Wraith form's a desperation move, but that's fine. Um, these are not the cards I wanted to see. So, die, die, die. Uh, I'm not going to... I mean, normally I would use the Gambler's Brew to discard and draw, but it's only a negative effect. It's not like it's going to attack me or anything. So... Wow. So the difference between Metamorphosis and Crystallis is just skills versus attacks. Interesting. We'll just go with Mayhem. Oh, bomb went off. Never mind, I didn't need to care. Uh, no. Or I'll take another block. Okay. Start with adrenaline in my hand, which is always nice. 
So I'm going to play that now. Did not draw what I wanted to draw. That's unfortunate. I have seven energy, though. Yeah, now is a good time to use the Gambler's Brew. Discard, discard, discard. I'll also discard Madness. I don't need cost reduction right now. Well, I at least have one thing that's useful. Um, no, I actually have a couple of things that are useful. After Image. Burst. Corpse Explosion, you. I'll play at the start of my draw pile, and I will not be taking any damage now. So Corpse Explosion, when this thing dies, it's going to do 70 damage to everything, which is going to happen next turn no matter what I do. So let's just trigger it now. Yay money. Uh, Discovery's not a terrible card. Let's go for it. Oh boy. These two I usually have some issues with. I did draw really nice, though. So one of these three will be free. Well, escape plan's already free. Footwork, I could probably use the block. I'm not going to say no. But Poison Stab is probably a better bet. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's get that free Poison Stab in. Along with Backstab and Masterful Stab. Let's get some violence going on. Yep. Give me money. I have two left. Let's get more attacks. One. Zero. Free Slice. Sadly, I cannot Grand Finale. Uh, is it worth spending this? No. I'll hold on to it. Part of the reason why I wasn't planning on like streaming this is that I don't know what to talk about when it comes to this. Uh, streaming, playing, whatever. Ugh, stupid pain. You know what? You're going on top of my draw pile. I'm tired of dealing with you. Random card is free. It's the card I didn't want. That's fine. Actually, no. Uh, this is a good plan, because now I can Cloak and Dagger twice, which will almost give me enough defense to block. Give me a bunch of... Oh, that's right, it's the next two, not next one. Well, that was a mistake. Oh well. Um, it's my only attack, so I can use Impatience to draw more cards. Unfortunately, now I'm going to be taking damage again. Throw a skill in. What skill will actually let me... Oh, Storm of Steel. Yeah. That will reduce the pain, and I can just shiv him to death. There we go. That worked. I just took a crap ton of damage, though. Uh, let's go with Noxious Fumes. Which boss am I facing? That one. I'll heal. I'm going to be safe on this. Mostly because I'm recording. And this boss can actually be really nasty from time to time, so. Start with an Adrenaline. Um, madness. Sure, I'll play a free Magnetism. It's Apotheosis. I have plenty of spell points. Or spell points. Energy points. Words are hard. And unload. That was the best I can do on turn one. So it's going to summon two minions. These minions have special attacks. These specific attacks will take the best cards from your deck. 
and hold on to them. And then they hold on to those cards until you kill them. So, not great. Violence? Okay. Let's get a couple of these cards out of my hand. Go Master of Strategy. My hand's now full. So I didn't get the full thing, unfortunately. Which is not great. Okay. First. I could bullet time. Let's discovery first. Uh, ooh, and Venom, thank you. That is key. Um, I think it may be time for bullet time. Bullet time. Unfortunately, bursting doesn't help anymore because I have no skills. Oh well, I'm playing it anyway. Because I can. Die, die, die. Masterful stab. What I want to do is get these down to low hit points, not actually dead. Last knife you. Last knife you. And... I'm not going to Wraith form. I think I would rather drink the Block Potion. So Block Potion just adds 12 block. You're stealing secret techniques. You're hitting me, and you're stealing statistic nature. The reason why I didn't want to actually kill them off is because when they die, the cards go back into my hand. So if I kill them off this turn, which is what I plan on doing, that tends to be a better plan. I'll discard that one. It's Metamorph. Ooh, some of those are really nice attacks. Um, after image. Secret weapon to get. I die, die, die. Which will kill them. Gives me my two cards back, which allows me a sadistic nature. Secret technique to. Uh, I don't have anything that great. I'll get an alchemize. That gives me a power potion. That's not too bad. Secret technique again. Give me... Hmm. It's not going to cost zero is the thing, so I need to make sure I don't grab something that is useless at that point. I only have one energy. I'll grab a malaise, I guess. Cloak and dagger. Shiv, shiv. Malaise for one, effectively. Better than nothing. Alright, it's going to deal 20 damage to me this turn. I need to discard a card. I don't want to discard any of these. These are actually all really good cards. I'll discard Mayhem. Panache. Let's think ahead. Everything's costing zero. This is great. We'll throw good instincts on top. Because I am going to invent them first. Then Quick Slash. Oh, no, I meant to trip first. Good instincts. Slice. Then... Let's get a power potion. Uh, a thousand cuts. Sure. And I'm not taking any more damage. There we go. It's gonna die next turn. I'm pretty... Yeah, I'm certain of it now. You know what? I don't want pain. Just pain sounds like a terrible plan. Don't you agree? Don't you wish you could just discard pain... Man, that would be nice. Not what I was expecting, but okay. Uh, let's just end it. There we go. Gain back the power potion I used, and ooh, I think I will take another after image, actually. Alright, so I can either... Gain one energy at the start of my turn, but whenever I open a non-boss chest, I obtain a curse, which there should be one or two of those left. That's actually not a terrible plan. Tiny house, you get a potion, 50 gold, max hit points increase by 5, get a card, and upgrade a random card. Normally the tiny house is a terrible plan, this time it's actually fairly good. So, wrist blade. Attacks that cause zero deal three extra damage. 
let's go over costs, shall we? This costs zero. This costs zero, not that I ever play it. This costs zero. So I effectively have two attacks that cost zero, and they would deal three extra damage. However, I also have shivs from the Cloak and Dagger, and also shivs from, uh, where is that at? Uh, Storm of Steel. Storm of Steel shivs are also costing zero. And any time that I have something that this costs zero, like for instance from uh, Crystalis or where's the other one? Uh, Metamorphosis, those will also deal extra damage. So all three of these are actually really good options. I'm almost leaning toward the house just for the maximum hit point increase. I don't really need the card. I don't really need the upgrade. Screw it, curse key, let's get more energy. More energy is usually useful. Okay, there's my boss. This boss is not the worst. It's not the best either. Uh, I'm gonna go this route. These little fun bits of joy. Um, their ability is if other enemies are still alive, they revive themselves at 50% hit points after two turns. So what you want to do is kill them all at the same time. Roughly the same time. It doesn't need to be exact. Let's adrenaline, get a couple of cards. Sadistic nature. Wish I had a secret technique equivalent for power cards, because that would be really nice right about now. Um, I could just take this power card. Thousand cuts for free. Yes, please. Okay. Let's do a secret technique for a violence. Play the violence so I can get more attack cards. Kind of need them. Not to mention I have crap tons of energy. Die, die, die. Um, actually die. Backstab you. Let's gain some block for fun. Deal a whole bunch of damage to you. Alchemize. I gained Vulnerable Potion. I'm going to play Bullet Time because I can. I can't play Grand Finale, unfortunately. So one's at one hit point and the other is at four. They're blo blocking for 12. So it's effectively 13 and 16 hit points. I can do this. Especially with that. You're dead. Mm, there are no attack piles left in my draw. You're dead. Got another fear potion. Sweet. Uh, those cards are not worth picking up. Let's go to the next one. I am just going to throw this on him now. It's a relatively high hit point enemy, but more importantly, I had all of my potions used up, and I'm, I have a card that gives me potions. It makes more sense for me to just churn through things. First, Apotheosis, then After Image. I should have done it the other way around. I thought Apotheosis was upgrading how much block you get. Oh well. Uh, Metamorphosis. Those are actually all decent cards. Mayhem. And the Backstab. That's my turn. I get burned. So what burns do is at the end of your turn you take two damage. So as long as they're in your hand, you can take damage. Panache. Another after image. Discovery. I will take another discovery into my hand. Oh, discovery gets played twice? Or did I just play it? Oh. Um Storm Steel into my hand, I guess. It's Discovery again. Um, dagger Throw into my hand, I guess. Ooh, Mind Blast. There we go. That just won it for me. I'm going to play the Dagger Throw anyway, because there's a chance that I could grab something that would have actually been useful. I didn't. Die. Attack Potion. Yes. Uh, 
Finesse is actually a really nice card because it's effectively free. Hey look, it's a non-boss chest. I just gained Chain. But I also gained a Runic Dodecahedron, which gives me energy as long as I have maximum hit points, which I'm going to have for a while. Um, yes, I will totally fight you for a rare rare. So it's two of those enemies that I had just fought. I'm going to make you vulnerable. Violence, get some more attack. I always draw the grand finale that way. Ugh. adrenaline just gonna play a couple of my zero costs so I can actually afford anything then adrenaline and venom yes this is good violence I don't think I'm drawing anything else I have exactly enough to play every card, don't I? No, I don't. I have one extra. So let's... Die, die, die. Glass knife, which will take you out, basically. Masterful stab, slice. Glass knife. I think I can actually take them both out, can't I? No, I can't take them both out. Oh, yeah, I can. I just don't get money for the Hand of Greed. That's fine. And you know what? I will just play that because... And then they both die from poison. The end! Yay. Prayer Wheel. Normal enemies drop an additional card reward. That's not a very good rel or relic. Yeah, I said that right this time. Before you lies an elaborate shrine to a forgotten spirit. You would actually have more options depending on what you have. Uh, certain, I think the golden idol or something like that gives you an extra bonus. I don't have one, so I just get to upgrade. Uh, kind of want to upgrade some of my searcher cards, don't I? And those just upgrade to don't exhaust. Violence Plus, on the other hand, might not be a terrible idea. Mm. Yep, we're gonna go with Violence Plus. Alright. What route do I want to go from here? I want to hit one of these three. I definitely don't want to be all the way on the right. This way gets me two elites, so I'm going to go the risky route. Ooh, this is one of my favorite enemies because they're relatively easy. Um, what the Reptomancer does is just summon more daggers. It's basically all they do. Yes. Violence. Apotheosis. Okay. Just trying to think how best to do this. Because I did not draw what I wanted to draw. Should have sliced instead. Oh well. A bit late now. Grab random skills, throw them in the deck. Hold on to the attack potion for now. I mean, this boss is also fairly easy. And sure, she can do a lot of damage randomly, but honestly, I'm not too concerned. Give me attacks. Oh, there's only three attacks left in the deck. Okay. Let's draw more cards. None of these are what I was wanting to see. 
That's a discovery. Um, finisher is going to do a lot of damage, actually. Add block. Think ahead. I can go on top. You know what? If for whatever reason I still have another turn, you can have plenty of glass knives on top. That's fine with me. That would have been really nice early on. It means card removal only costs 50, but I'm probably only going to have one more card removal at most. Mm, yes, one more at most. Because that is the only shop I could reach because of the path I chose. Let's smith something. Could smith finesse. Or another one of my searchers. You know, it's probably not a bad idea to actually have searchers that stay forever. So let's go ahead and smith that. Another relic. Alright, giant head. This guy's shtick is that does crap tons of damage after a certain number of turns, but they're also slow. Oh, jeez, I have both frail and pain in the hand at the same time. Frail just means that I gain... Or, shame means that I gain frail. However, I think I might be immune to frail right now, aren't I? Oh no, it's at the end of my turn. So that means that I have crappier block next turn, which is going to suck. Let's draw four. Won't matter, I have Storm of Steel. Um, Just gonna eat a little bit of hit points that's all and yeah storm of steel discard my hand then shiv a whole bunch of shiv slow what it's doing is that it's causing damage to increase by one each time yes and then this is going to do a crap ton of damage yep that was nice. That was my first turn. I dropped it by 300 hit points. That's always a nice feeling. Thousand cuts. Let's think ahead. I will discard the block because I don't need it. Last knife. Slice. I'm weak at the moment. That's why I'm doing less damage. Corpse explosion. Good. The countdown is for a massive amount of damage. It wasn't really obvious. I've got five. I have exactly enough to play everything. Again. Okay. Uh, my next skill will be played twice. I will have tons of block. Fantasmal killer to do double damage next turn. And then whenever I deal, I use an attack that's unblocked, I poison. Out of those, die, die, die is the only attack. I also have a secret weapon in my hand, but I'm going to do that first. Oh, there we go. Naturally, I drew the grand finale. I hardly ever get to play this card. I mean, look how much damage it does right now. But it's so hard to play. Um, Last Knife is going to do more than anything else that I can do. Doink. Doink. And, yeah. Toxic Egg. Whenever I add a skill to my deck, I upgrade it. That'd be great if I got these early, but no, I have to get them late. Uh, Lash of Steel is better. Non-boss chest. 
Every time I play three attacks in a single turn, I gain one strength. That will be very handy. Hmm. It's a writhing mass. I have shame. And normal T. Ah, oh, dang it. Normal T ruins my deck. Because I can only play three cards in one turn. Well, discovery should be one. Get transformation. In fact, transformation is going to be two. Ah. Uh, try it. I was hoping to get something that allows me to discard, but I did not. Yes, yeah, key. Um, let's just make my next turn better. All metamorphosis, and I can't play anything else. And I also get frail. I okay. Um, secret weapon. Let's draw. Ugh. This is just a pretty bad situation to begin with. Noxious fumes, I guess. Zone, what are you doing? I guess that's the disadvantage of having such a slim view on here. You can't see zone. I'm going to fix that really fast. Yes, there are things over there. Because he's going to sleep on my shoulder. Or just lie there. Oh, for reference, for the things that you can now see, this is my discard pile, and these are the things that have been exhausted or removed from the game. There. Not blocking too much. Um, I don't remember what I was going to do. Find me! Deflect. Oh dear. Oh right, that's the problem with this boss. It randomizes its attacks every turn. Da -da -da. Okay. Doing less damage now. That's good. I think I'm going to have to use malaise. There. There, I can survive that. Because I have so few hit points is the problem. Now I draw everything that I need in my hand. Of course I do. I'm only taking 9 damage, so I don't even need the block this time. So I'm not going to block him. Oh, right. It's going to re-randomize. I oh, don't have much of a choice. Okay, I'm still taking nine. That's fine. Concerned about this one. <sighs> but off to do. I'm going to be taking five. Hmm. Now I get my good hands. Add a bunch of cards to my deck, then upgrade them all. And this. Get a skill into my hand, like violence, then play violence. Ooh, ooh, I might have this. <laughs> Would have been nicer earlier, but that's fine. Mind blast, mind blast. Eviscerate. Dead. Okay. Greed. Um, not doing great on hit points. Uh, Bouncing Flask is actually a nice card. 
And don't want to expand my deck any further. Okay! Next enemy. Regular enemy. It's the Maw. I have no card draw in my hand. <sighs> Might as well metamorph. Transmute. Yeah, I got card draw this way, but of course now I can't afford anything. Hmm. I can because of the madness, though. I am going to intentionally exhaust Hand of Greed. So Madness will get me Discovery, which will allow me to draw a card, and it will cost nothing. I think I will take an Adrenaline, thanks, which will allow me to draw two cards and gain one energy, which will allow me to get Violence, which allows... You see how these decks end up working. Uh, Endless Agony, Class Knife. That worked. Master Strategy. Let's think ahead. Put back Mayhem. I don't really need Mayhem right now. And Venom. I already have enough block where I don't need to worry about things. Um, secret Technique. Let's pull... Adrenaline. Adrenaline. Play Deflect. Play a finesse. Oh, now I have a panache. I should have done it the other order. That's fine. Thousand cuts. Mayhem. Masterful stab. Not playing the others. And I drew shame. whole bunch of strength and weakness. But I gain frail. This run's actually not going too bad, but it's not doing great. Uh, free panache is probably a good plan. Ooh, let's burst. Get two free secret weapons. First one will be glass knife. Second one will be... Can I afford... Everything else? Uh, Crystallis does what? Random skills. Okay. I can't kill them this turn. That's going to be a problem. Bounce some flask. Last night. Die, die, die. Oh. I am going to be taking four. It's not great. I need healing. And I don't have any in the deck. Because I didn't bother buying that healing card. Dang it me. Mm, let's see. Violence, which gets me the one attack card left in the deck. Oh me. Noxious Fumes. Phantasmal Killer. Corpse Explosion. And it's dead. Sweet. Oh, the bomb wore off anyway. Uh, yeah. Mmm, Riddle of Holes is not terrible. Let's add more zero costs. And yes, Madness is good for me. I have a lot of money. Let's go to the Merchant. This allows me to see my draw pile in order instead of just random cards. That's nice. Pen Nib I'm definitely going to buy. Because I... This is if you, every 10th attack you play deals double damage. It's not 10th attack in one round. It's not 10th attack per one combat. It's 10th attack. So that's actually extremely nice for my deck. Let's card remove that stupid normality. 
go away and never return. Um, I have 410 remaining. I'm going to pick up a ghost in a jar, which gives me one round of intangible. A backstab, because backstabs are always handy. <sighs> Frozen eye, I guess. Yeah. I'm not using money for anything else at this point. My backstab. Yeah, it's upgraded. I don't think there's a reason for me to upgrade anything. Go with normal enemies. It's just jaw worms. They're not too bad. Um, everything in my hand costs zero already. <laughs> Violence. Why did I die? Secret weapon. And agreed. Madness. Eh, that was not the one I wanted free, but that's okay. You're dead. You're dead. And you're dead. Problem solved. Um, yes please. And, ooh, healing. Naturally, I have healing for the second to last battle of the game, but, you know. Whatev. Okay. This is good. This is actually really good. It's not perfect. Let's start backstabbing. Actually, let's use the attack potion. Yep, dagger spray. That will help. And die. Oh, that was double damage. I should have been paying attention. Oh well. A bit late now. Uh, actually, no. Get rid of Malaise. Nobody likes you, Malaise. And of course, I drew Shane. Throw more attacks into my deck. Heal. Healing was probably worth it then. Um, I have madness for no reason. Not no reason, I need the block. Because this is going to deal 28 to me and I currently only have 24 defense. Hand of Greed you, even though it's not going to kill it, it will at least... Or it will kill it, it won't give me money. I don't need money anymore anyway. I'm going to take two. That was worth it. Um, let's get rid of Noxious Fumes. Violence! That's a really nice set of things for violence, actually. Corpse Explosion. Die, die, die. Die, die, die. Lots of agony, lots of backstabbing, lots of slicing, lots of stabbing. I did a lot of damage that turn. Uh, yeah, you can discard pain. I don't particularly care about being in pain, thanks. Bathiosis. Let's get a skill. Um, thinking that I don't have the skill I was wanting. Huh. That's gonna be a problem. Looking at my hand, I am going to have enough defense, so I don't really need more block. Could get finesse, which will allow me to draw a card that could be something other than a skill. Storm of Steel is not useful because I don't have a very big hand right now, and I'm going to play all of it. Um, violence. When in doubt, add more violence. Cloak and Dagger. I have a lot of glass knives. I actually don't have enough to use them all. Hmm. Yep, 
You're gonna die. Glass knife, you. Yeah, everybody's dead. This is not even a... Yeah. Potion belt. That would have been nice earlier to have extra potion slots. Uh, I think panic button is not a bad idea. Getting a massive amount of block because I'm going to be dealing with nasty. Let's smith something, I think. So honestly, the four hit points is not going to do me much good. Let's smith and venom. That's right, it is the Awakened one. That's not going to be easy. Adrenaline? Didn't draw what I wanted. Maybe I'll draw it now. Nope. Might as well Magnetism. Oh right, I forgot that increases their strength every time I play a power card and this deck is full of them. Burst, bomb, let's set up some people with the bomb. Sad as it is, I think I actually do need to play that. You're gonna be weak. Also, might as well gain dexterity, gain more block, and let's do some damage to you. So, the way this boss battle works is that every time that this hits, or no, it's just regening 10 hit points around, these two are just minions, so they'll die eventually, but unfortunately they're annoying minions, so they actually gain three, they actually gain a, yeah, no, it's three strength, they gain three strength every round right now. Um, after image, discovery. Take a predator, actually. I'm gonna take out some of the cultists for the time being, just because I don't want to take that much damage. Mayhem. I'm currently taking 23. I have 11, so that would have my hit points. I'm gonna do it anyway. Mm, free and venom. Nice. Uh, let's deflect. I may actually need to panic button this turn. Secret weapon. Let's get a die, die, die out. I can do enough extra damage. 36. Keep that in mind. 36 me. Master strategy. Thousand cuts. That's going to make things much easier. Unfortunately, that is not going to make things easier. There we go. Okay. I am... that's only 28. I have 33 block. I'm fine. I'm not gonna panic button. The downside with panic button is that I lose the ability to block for a turn. So the next turn is painful, to put it mildly. Oh, pain. This may be a problem. That may actually kill me. Anything that allows me to discard. Anything at all. Thinking ahead is the only thing I've got. It's worth it. Put pain back. And then I'm not going to draw any more cards this turn. I know I'm just delaying the inevitable. I don't care. I'm not, because I played Tools of the Trade, which means that I'll be able to discard a card at the start of the turn. Okay, I have four left. I could either Phantasmal Killer or Wraith Form. Wraith Form will let me survive without drinking my potion. But I'm going to start losing decks every turn. 
I honestly don't care about losing decks. There we go. Oh, I could have actually played the thing to draw a card because I wasn't playing anything else. Oh, anyway. Discard pain. And I started with an unload in my hand. Damn it. <sighs> that was a terrible turn. Get rid of purity. Well, I'm going to be able to knock them out this turn. Healing, yes. I wish I could play this one twice, but I cannot. At least I think I can knock them out this turn. Um... Apotheosis. Secret technique. Grab the alchemize. Play the alchemize. Uh, draw four. After image. Ooh, I might not be able to do it. Oh, now I have the burst. Ugh. Damn it. That's 18. 18, 14 is 32. That's not enough. That's enough. Okay. That's random power. Do another mayhem. Why not? They're dead. So their turn is reviving themselves. Unfortunately, it drops all of their status effects. And they keep. Ugh, you're a shame. This is definitely going to be a panic button turn, isn't it? Let's get. Flash of Steel to hopefully draw something better. I said better, not worse. Last Knife. This does look pretty cool, I will admit, but this boss is annoying. Set us up the bomb. can't gain block this turn. So I'm going to have to use Ghost in a Jar, and I'm hoping that I kill it before it matters. Alright, I'm killing one card out of this. Or killing? Discarding one card out of this. Um, Bouncing Flask. Morphosis. Throw in some free attacks. Yes, please. Grab a skill. Discovery. <laughs> I could just Wraith form again, I suppose. It's not a good plan, but I could. Or is it that bad of a plan? Actually, no, that is a good plan now that I think about it. It'll ensure that I survive multiple turns. Um... Wraith form. Violence. Dramatic entrance! Ooh, I might actually be able to survive this. Dagger throw. Yeah, no, we're not keeping pain. Um, heal hook. Yeah, I'm not drawing anything more. It's bullet time. Yeah, no, it's dead. There we go! 
completed the boss. A deep pulsing dread could be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire? The source of this evil? You prepare your daggers. You do 929 damage. The heart squirms and bleeds, but is ultimately still pounding. Are your mightiest attacks not enough? You ask yourself, have I been here before? You feel as though you have dealt a total of 33,983 damage to the heart. A total of 14,636,643,707 damage has been dealt by all who have challenged it. The heart pulses louder and louder as your consciousness fades. Victory? So, that's a complete run of Slay the Spire. It's been an hour and a half. I hope people have enjoyed this. Let's get the final tallies up. Um, play 20 cards in a single turn. Again, overkill, dealing 99, oh, 99 damage with a single attack. I defeated one boss without taking damage. Defeated two elites without taking damage. I had a deck size of 50+. plus. And these are kind of what's going to be inevitable. Other than, hey, look, I killed some elites. And that's it. Let's see where my ranking is. It's not very good. That was not a very high score. 346 at the moment, but tomorrow it will be much lower. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed that, and I'll talk to you next time, Internet. Bye!